Welcome to the 34th part of the Master Business Accounting Project in MS Access Programming. This is the second video about applying secret code to reset the complete database for business startup. Let's get started by rolling out the intro. In the last video, we deleted data from three tables and added the default built-in account cash in hand to the chart of accounts table. As you can see, data still exists in all other tables such as customers, suppliers, items, and products which also need to be reset. Now we press our secret code, Control plus Shift plus 1, and continue with the Proceed button code. We now add and reset all existing tables in our business accounting software. We have already added these three tables, and the remaining tables still need to be added. The profile table cannot be completely deleted because if the admin account profile is removed, the database will be locked. Therefore, we must delete all records except the first one. This is the profile table's ID field, and while targeting it, we will not delete the first record. The template table does not need to be reset. Similarly, in the user table, the first record, admin, cannot be removed. Otherwise, our database login will fail. Next, you should know that due to the relationship between the chart of accounts and the subaccounts table, we must store each main chart of accounts ID in a variable after creating the account, so that the same ID can be linked in the subaccounts table. Now we will copy the first complete code and variable code so that, with the necessary changes, we can create the remaining default accounts.
for each account, we need to update four things. Account number, name, details, and variable. This task requires great care. The first four accounts belong to assets, the next account will start under liabilities, followed by equity, and the final account will be expenses. Now we create the sub-accounts, which will be based on the main chart of accounts variables. Update the chart of accounts code according to the sub-table fields. Now we must include the variables from the main chart of accounts one by one. Thank you. 
the first sub account data entry looks correct. We will now copy it in the same way and update the fields for the remaining sub accounts. To be honest, at this stage I felt a bit confused myself, but there's no issue, I just needed to gather my energy and improve my focus. Update the customer variable. This is not the place to display a message for removing table records.
In my opinion, this has been a major and excellent coding experience. Now it's time for testing. The secret code is pressed. The security check appears. The pin is accepted and the operation proceeds. All table records are deleted and reset. Default chart of accounts are updated and all operations are completed successfully. This is excellent. The chart of accounts table is confirmed with all accounts. Similarly, the sub accounts have also been fully updated and the main chart of accounts IDs are correctly linked to the sub accounts. Our third operation was table reset. All tables have been reset except the first record in the profile and user tables. Now let's log in to our database. As you can see, the default accounts have been created perfectly, and for business startup you only need to update the opening balances of the cash-related accounts. The error that appears while creating a store is because we are using the same form in the main dashboard, and during business startup the main dashboard is not opened. Therefore, we will update the code accordingly. I still have to press F5 on the keyboard to refresh the form data. I would like you to mention the reason for this in the comments along with the code, and I'll try my best to respond. This form also has the same issue. This is fantastic. We have achieved our goal and our accounting software is now ready for a new business. We are very close to completing this mega project. We hope that through our tireless efforts you are reaching new heights in programming. Please support this channel, subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next advanced level video.